Washington, a special report to the people of Georgia by Senator Richard Russell. Here is Senator Russell. Matters of such vital importance to our people are transpiring on the floor of the Senate that I feel called upon to make a report to you and give you uh, what is happening. I have never had a system of press releases nor a public relations man, and I have noticed from the coverage on the ticker from the press associations that their report of these events are far from complete. We are now confronted on the floor of the Senate with the vicious, iniquitous civil rights bill which has come over from the House of Representatives after passage by that body by a vote of more than two to one. Parliamentary issues have been raised whereby it is sought to bypass the rules of the Senate, to avoid the customary procedures of the Senate, and place this bill on the calendar where it may be taken up for immediate consideration. Having been selected by my colleagues from the southern states who are opposing this bill to act as floor leader, particularly in parliamentary matters, we have just emerged from our first skirmish. We are confronted with an unholy alliance of the self-styled and professed northern liberals, uh, led by Senators uh, Douglas and Humphrey and uh, a number of others, and the Republican leadership led by Senator Nolan of California. I greatly fear that the Vice President of the United States, who has recently been in conference with some of the leaders supporting this legislation, will join with them to wipe out any semblance of regular parliamentary procedure in the effort to cram this bill down our throat. I have stated on the floor of the Senate this afternoon that it seems that a legislative lynching of a minority is in prospect. And I can understand their position because they do not want a full explanation before the country of this bill. It is one of the most dangerous pieces of legislation ever presented to the Congress. It grows out of a skillfully conducted hate the South campaign that has been waged in an effort to make the Southern people appear as depraved, uh, ignorant people who are in need of a guardian. And this bill seeks to make the Attorney General their guardian. There has been a great deal of talk on the floor of the Senate about this being a voting bill. I said the day that men talked of voting, but they had in mind school and that the real purpose of this bill was to give the Attorney General the power to implement the school decision to strike down the system of separate schools for whites and Negroes in the southern states and to do it by bypassing ordinary laws and procedures, by denying those charged with offenses the benefits of a jury trial. This monstrous bill proposes to give the Attorney General of the United States far greater powers than the President of the United States has ever enjoyed over the individual rights and liberties of our people. With great pride, I declared this afternoon that I resented with every power of my being this hate campaign against the South, that I was proud to be a Southerner, and that the people of the South were a kindly, generous, courageous, and patriotic people, the peers of any in this land. Our backs are to the wall but we intend to fight with every weapon at our command, even though there is a disposition to pick up the Constitution, the laws and the rules of the Senate, and throw them out of the window. We shall resist until the end. You've been listening to a special report to the people of Georgia by Senator Richard Russell. He spoke to you as of Wednesday night this week immediately following a session of the United States Senate. I return you now to your station announcer.